In today's video, we're going to see the questioning of a former police officer who has been brought in on claims of domestic abuse. His full name has not been released, so we will be referring to him by his first name, John. John should know better than to ask, even if they did know. They most likely wouldn't tell him. The only thing they are interested in is getting a statement, and they say whatever they need to to keep him talking. Let's do this before we get started, and then you can just let us know exactly what you feel. First and foremost, you see those red signs on either wall saying this room is being audio and video recorded? Yes. You okay with having this conversation audio and video recorded? If you don't, then we're not gonna we're not gonna record it. Yeah, I'll go shut it off if you don't want to, but this just kind of protects you as well as us too. So we're not putting words in your mouth. Otherwise I'm gonna describe what you say. Well I believe you. Man. I trust both of you guys. I'm I'm just I'm just saying I just don't want my video being shown to some place or something, you know what I mean? It just stays in the case file, man. Yeah. Uh, you, you know. It's up to you. It's your your call. I mean just I mean, just talk right now for I mean I this thing is kind of to protect us, and you, you've you been here, you've been in the seat before, you know what it's like. This is to make sure that we're doing our job the right way, and all the stuff that you're saying is what you're saying. Yeah, ultimately, otherwise, I'm gonna write down, I'm not verbatim, but I'm gonna paraphrase what you say, and I don't wanna take anything out of context. I'm not trying to talk you into, or he isn't either. You know, we've been doing this a long time. Well, before before we, before we start, can I kind of know sure. what the plan is? I mean, am I getting booked no matter what, or? or? We don't know. At this point, there's like two sides to every story, right? I know. I know. My girlfriend and I didn't hurt each other. Okay, let's do this because we can't. Because we're starting yeah. to go into the, the minutia of this thing. I know you want to. Okay. Let's just let's just do this. Time is now um, nineteen eleven hours. Today's date is zero one one four, two thousand fifteen, and the case number is one five zero one one zero five six six. And this part's for you. I'm gonna read you your rights and. Have you fill out your your last name? I just want to. I just okay. Just fill out your last name, and if you don't want to talk, you don't want to talk. If you don't want to talk. I, just, I, I, I just. But I just, let's make sure we get all of this stuff done, so you know, know that that's. But before done. I make any kind of statement, can I just find that out? I mean, I just like I said, all and date of birth, all the. Uh, Okay, John. Yeah. Hang on, just let him read this to you. And I'm going to point out one of these that I think is the most important when he reads that to you. And then that's what about my right to remain silent. Right now, John should be focusing on his right to remain silent. He knows the process for questioning, and he knows that any information they give him may not necessarily be true. It would be in his best interest to have a lawyer present instead of repeatedly asking them what is going to happen. No, that's not even the best one. <laughs> okay, read, listen. Okay. 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 You have the right to remain silent. You understand that? Yes. Just initial right next to it there, Sam. That you understood that you have the right to remain silent. Okay. And by the way, I, I did invoke earlier, but I... Yeah, but you, you voluntarily I know, wanted I, to talk to I know, to I do want to talk to right. right. I, I just want... I, but I didn't want to... Okay. okay. Any statement that you do make him use as evidence, evidence against you in the court of law. You understand that? 
Okay, just finish it there. You have the right at the time to talk with an attorney of your choice and to have your attorney present before and during any questioning and the making of any statement. You understand that? Um, if you're not afford an attorney, you're entitled to have one appointed for you without cost to you and to have your attorney present at any time during any questioning or the making of any statement. You may stop asking questions at any time or ask an attorney at any time during questioning or the making of any statement. John, that's my favorite one. So if you want to go, if you want to, it's up to you. You, you understand them. You, we can go through the question. We can ask questions. And at any time you don't like the, the foreign frame of the training or the questioning, rather, you can say, "Man, well, fuck off," and I won't take I'm no offense to it. But I, I'm just, you know, man to man, I'm just telling you. You could say, you could say, no thanks. That would be nice. Of me. I know. No, but I mean, you know what I'm saying. You, you have the right. That, that's the one I like the best out of any interview I ever do. That's the one I stress the most. Do you understand each of these rights that I explained to you? Just put yes, that's it, and make sure you put yes if you understand it. And ha having made fully aware of these rights, do you wish to voluntarily answer questions now? Yes or no? Initials? And roll. Yes, okay. Just sign for me and I'll sign. Just so you know what I'm doing, I'm just signing the signature of the witness. Just explain everything I do, buddy. There, now that that's done, bruh. So here's the deal, man. We were really concerned. You want to uh, have this recorded or not recorded? I want to, sorry. Oh, sure. You'd like the recorded, that's fine. Thank yeah, you, buddy. Thank you. That helps me pay attention to you a little more. Okay. All right. Everybody was concerned for your safety, your girlfriend's safety. Sure. Cabby Cabby said we're just trying to make sure what happened, who was injured, how they got injured, the whole nine, if that makes sense to you. No one is. Okay. Okay? All right. All right. No, so no one is injured. Nobody's injured? I so, hope not. so tell me tell us what happened today. Tell us what happened today. But before we, we go into all this stuff, I, like I was trying to find out earlier. Mm -hmm. Uh, Officer Russell, Detective Russell, mm -hmm. said that I'm being booked into jail. So if I'm going to be booked into jail, I mean, no matter what, then it just doesn't make any sense for me to answer questions. Well, let me ask you, when you were in law enforcement, when you talked to, uh, you went out on a call or something, and you got one one story. I understand that, but, I, but, if, but if, that's, that's if my girlfriend's saying something, I don't, I don't know if she'd say that. If somebody else, you earlier you said that somebody else called in and said something. Okay. And so, otherwise we wouldn't be looking for you. You see what I'm saying? Somebody had to say something, right? But but I just I just don't understand why I'm gonna make a statement if, if I'm gonna go to jail regardless. Because it would have happened regardless if you go to jail or not. <coughs> either way. Either way. What happens is and I told this to your father when I was out the house talking to him. I said it's up to you. But if I have one story or two stories and I don't have yours, your story could put holes in their story, and I can, I, and maybe that. Or would mine stop. could, or I could say something that could. Put well, me you a, can only tell me the truth. I mean, yeah, I, I, I've already said the truth. Though. I've already told everybody earlier what happened. I, I, Who did know, you tell? I talked to uh, what's his name? The guy you rode with. The guy that first. Oh, that was Detective Martin. The guy in plain clothes. With the black jacket? No. Oh, well, I, I did talk to him a little bit. Here's so, the thing. At the end of the day, I mean, I, I whatever the truth is, the I truth is. I spoke earlier, and, and then now I'm agreeing to talk, but I'm, I'm not. I don't really want to make a statement because I don't know why I'm going to make a statement and then be booked into jail anyway. I just understand. You don't make a statement. All we have is what the people uh, is what the original people told us, and we're just going to go off of that. That's and, that's, and that's the scene, the evidence of the scene. That's it. If that's what you want to do, that's fine. I, but I haven't hurt anybody. Okay. But we have a, a, a different story of that. And, and by you saying that and, and that, and that's great, and you may not have. Maybe you could poke holes in their story. It is up to you to give a statement. Yes. Now, you, you've, been, you've been on this side of the table. Yep. I understand, right? This is one of the most common tactics in interrogation. Detective Jordan urges John to tell his side of the story, something that people are naturally prone to do anyway. The problem with that is, even if you are completely innocent, you can word things poorly enough to get yourself into trouble.
you were in law enforcement. You understand, I'm, dude. I'm, I'm giving you this very straight. He's giving you a fair uh, shake at the deal. It's your decision, hundred percent. If you want, I mean, these guys, they, they they treat me like a dirt bag. They put the handcuffs on me tighter than you know what I mean. It's like I'm not a dirt bag. I I was I've been cooperative the entire time. I, I follow our instruction. I've I've been. So John, at the end of the day, you want to tell us your side of the story, or you just want us to go about what we heard? I, I don't know. I mean, I, I I feel like it'd be better if I if I I don't know what to do. Yeah. Well, I don't. I'm I don't not know. your attorney, but I'd be damned if I'd let him lie on me without me telling him my side of the story. He's not gonna lie on me. Though. I, I know that. I'm, I'm using him as an example, yeah. Yeah, hypothetically. I, 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 I trust him for sure. And I, you seem like a good guy too. You've been family. doing this job for 24 years. I am not going to lie about anything. I know you're not. I'm not. You know, but the, the, and I'm not going to lie to you. The deal is, is uh, am I going to jail then or not? I, mean, I don't know. You haven't told us anything. So at, at this point, if you don't tell us anything, we can only go off of what we have. What, so what, do, you want, what do you guys want to know? I, I want to know what happened. He wants to know what happened right in the beginning from from what the issue was that when uh, your girlfriend ran out to the cab. The, the, just let's start. What were you arguing? What were you guys arguing about? Let's start with that. That's what she said. She said, "Yep, we did get in an argument." Mm -hmm. What was the argument about? I don't know. If, if I'm going to be booked, no matter what, I, I just I see for I the see. third time. Here's the thing: uh, if you don't say anything, all we have to go on is what they told us, and that's why you're under arrest right now because of what they told us. The only way you could. So I am under arrest now. Yes, that's why you have to arrest me to you. I know. I know. Like earlier, it was like you're just being detained. But you saw him fill out the book and sheet. Oh, yeah, because remember, you weren't going to talk to us, so all we have to go on is what they told us. Is what the cab driver told us. What yeah. your girlfriend said. What, and then what we got to find out is what you said. That's all. Well, my girlfriend said I did something, then what's the point of making a statement? Well, who said you that? You don't think a girl would, would lie? You don't think that a, uh, somebody might lie that might not be the truth, or we might have evidence that doesn't support what she says, but we got to figure out what happened on your end? I, or you can just be quiet. It don't matter to me, John. But I, I do want to. I, I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to be naive to myself and say, "Oh, you know." I mean, you get, there was like thirty cars out there. Okay, listen to this. Did you assault your girlfriend? Was it? Did you assault no. your girlfriend? Okay. So now that you said that, just explain to us the details from the time you got turned argument to the time that you were contacted by the police in Tacoma. That's all. Okay. You've already said you didn't assault her, so there you go. Truth will set you free. All right. That's it. We argued, as you know from earlier, we argued, we had a, we had, did have an argument about this whole thing with this guy that she was with. Some infidelity issues, right? Yes. Okay. We left. We went to the coffee tell me, shop. Tell me how, the, how, how you ended up. There's a taxi cab involved somewhere. Okay. I went out there and I yelled at her. What'd you say? I don't remember what I said. What do you think you said? You said, get back in here, don't leave. I said, hey, don't forget your stuff. You didn't take your phone, you know, you don't love me, what, you know, you do this to me, but you're leaving me now. Okay, I don't okay. Know. so you went, okay, that makes sense, go ahead. And then this guy's like, what, you're not gonna pay me? I'm like, I'll pay you here, you know, and I, you know, he's, she gave me $25 to pay him. I asked him, it's 25 bucks, I think. So was the cab to take her, was to bring her there, or was the cab to make She her? was gonna go get her car, because we left her car at her apartment last okay. night. She drove my car. So what was the payment for? What would you pay the cabbie for? For coming on, he says, well, it's $15 for you. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, was she already in the cab, or did you walk her to the cab? How did she get to the cab? Talk to me. She walked to the cab, and then I yelled. You didn't want her to leave, though? I, I, I came out there, and I, and I said, look, you know, like I said, I, I know it's, um, I know I, I don't want to repeat the same answers, but but I'll, I'll I'll tell you, you know, like I said, I, I did say some things I should have said, but I didn't hit anybody. Okay. I didn't threaten her or threaten the cabbie. I, you know, I told I told him something. I said some curse words. You know. It, it's not against the law, though, bro. So don't I, 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 but I know, but I, I still don't. I'm, I'm not a person who. And I, I, you know, I do cuss. I'm not gonna try and portray okay. myself as a saint. Right. But anyway, I, uh, you know, I, I did do that. She paid him. And this whole thing from this point on, 
Yeah, we argued. Yeah, we, we left. The more he speaks, the guiltier John looks. In just a few sentences, he has shown he has a temper and that he was fighting with his girlfriend. With each word, he builds a case for the prosecution. You know, he's like, well, why are you in a robe for? Uh, Who said that? Uh, Russell. Okay. I'm in a robe because I was, you know, in this, and he was like, well, let's just leave. You know, I don't want to be here. You know, I, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, okay, well, we're just going to get a coffee. So we got to go get a coffee. Now, what time of day was that, though? I don't remember. We went and got a coffee. We drove around for a while. We came back. And when we came back, there's like 30 cars around the block. And I see my mom's parked outside on a, what's that street? Not tower, but a. When you, yeah. One of the adjacent yeah. streets. Yeah. So, but you so understand, she, and you understand I, I, why that was though? Do you understand why? Well, I didn't know, not at first. And I, there's a. You understand sort of, now? Well, I do now. I understand okay. what the. Okay. So we, we came we came around and I see her you know that car and then her the two the two patrol cars there her car she's sitting there and so then I I leave I go make a call on that payphone who'd you call my dad okay I, and I asked him what was going on. he says yeah, the cab driver said you guys got an argument he says that you forcibly removed her. Uh, no, I did not. Okay. He says, okay, well, I'm sitting right, or standing right next to the assistant chief right now. Okay. And he's like, well, you know, and Ami didn't want to call him because, first of all, we didn't have any, our cell phones were at the house. Right. I, just, I, for, I forgot mine. Mm -hmm. so, I got so, I didn't have any way to call him. I went to a pay phone. I went to a pay phone. Uh, uh, I don't remember where it was. It was in Lakewood. Mm -hmm. And the other one was in Tacoma. I built, I believe. Okay. And then the first time he says, well, they have your, uh, or is it the first time? No, the first time or the second. I can't remember. I, anyway, the, I'm, I'm tired, guys. I, 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 I have not This is the first or second. Just I haven't slept very well. Um, I'm very tired. Mm -hmm. So, when I called him and, and asked him what was going on, mm -hmm. that's what he told me. I said, well, they can search the house. I can, you know, I haven't beat her up or anything like that. Um, second phone calls in Tacoma. And we're just driving around, talking. So would you guys, so at, the end of, with your, at the end of your conversation, would you guys end up with? Where'd you, where, how do you get this resolved? Is it resolved? It's resolved. Okay, we good. already told her I, I, I forgave her for it all. I'm not mad at her. Uh, I mean, yeah, it hurt, but I'm, I'm not gonna, there's not gonna a whole lot of it. Okay. Uh, Things were good. And uh, as far as far as I was concerned, it was over with. But then, like I said, the uh, all the cars were still there, you know, from that I remember. And I'm thinking to myself, well, okay, he, my dad told me they perform my warrant. Yep. And uh, okay. So tell me, tell me about the clothes in the backyard, the burning clothes. Whose clothes were they? Okay. Uh, did you ask her about that already? Yep. Well, she probably told you what happened. No, she didn't. She told me they were her clothes, though. Yeah. Were you just so I, did, I, did, I didn't. I didn't hit her. I didn't. Were you kind of just frustrated? You burned her clothes up. I was I'm not. Frustrated. I'm not going to say that at all. I'm okay. just going to. I haven't hit anybody. Good. Good man. And I haven't threatened anybody. Good. Go ahead. Take it, John. John is showing a puzzling lack of understanding about how these interviews work. He can't just say, "I didn't do this certain thing," but I don't want to talk about any of these other things. If there are things he doesn't want to say, 
he needs to invoke his right to remain silent. Otherwise, they can keep questioning and he will potentially volunteer more than he means to. We get that, we hear that, man, but what, you're not helping yourself when you're... Well, you want, you, want me to, you want me to talk about other stuff, and I, I guess... The, the whole totality of it is what we want to I figure I understand, out. but I'm, not, I'm, under, I'm under arrest right now for assault. I didn't assault anybody. Now you want me to talk about... I, I'll tell you what we did as far as where we went, but I didn't, I didn't do anything to her. But you know, when you burn her clothes, that's doing some to her. If you, if but it comes I, out of frustration, I'm not I can't. saying I did that. I'm just, I'm not saying <laughs> that at all. They didn't spontaneously combust. Well, I'm, not, I'm not saying I did. Can I, can I find some more? Yeah, yeah sure. Move I'm sorry. I'll, I'll get some right now. You can think about that. All, all I know is I, 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 obviously, you know, trying to say that, you know. But here's the biggest thing. I know I'm under arrest for this. And no, I didn't, I didn't look, listen, it. listen, listen. I wasn't there. I wasn't. I haven't even gone to your apartment. He did all the stuff at the apartment. The warrant, all that other stuff. <clears throat> all the stuff I'm getting is secondhand information. So, this is what I'm being told. There were some clothes in the backyard that were burned. I even asked her. Once I learned about it, I asked her. She said, "They were my clothes." I said, "Well, what happened to them?" She goes, "I don't want to say." That's what she said. I don't want to say. So her clothes got burned. She doesn't live there. She does live with me. Well, she says she has a, a place. But she does. But she, we live together. She's been living there. She stays every day. Y'all been dating each other for almost three years, though, right? Yeah. Okay. She and does live there. She has an apartment there. What do you, what do you call her? What do you call her, name wise? Not girlfriend, but what do you call her? For her name? Yeah. Ami. Ami. But her real name is. Yeah, Superwoman. Okay. Okay. That's. What, I was just trying to see what, what the names were that you, with what she went by. Is that like her nickname? Did she tell you to call her that, or is that something you came up with? Uh, that's where she calls herself. Okay, all right. So, all, all I know, I mean, I know what you guys are arresting me for, and I can tell you, without a doubt, I did not hit her. I did not threaten her. Did you her. grab her out the, out the cab? No. How did she get out the cab? She got out on her own. Okay. I was did, mad. I, I was. You? I'm not going to lie. Well, I believe I, it. I, I, I said, I I said some it. things I shouldn't have said to, to her, to, to the guy, but I did not did hit her. Did you threaten him? No. I did not. I did well, what did you say that you should have said? I don't, I'm not. Curse, I mean, I cussed on that. I was like, "What you? I don't want to repeat it. I, I don't cuss normally. I, I was just, me, I was just angry and I. Well, it was frustration to just like, just like Detective Jordan said. But I did not hit anybody. Okay. And I did not threaten anybody. And I, the other stuff, I just don't want to say. Okay. Why do you think the cab driver would indicate that you jerked her out of the car? And what would why, why, why would he uh, grab her physically? Like, come on with me out of the car. I didn't. I didn't. You didn't put your hand. You say, like "Come that. on, come on, get out of the car." Nothing. Nothing like that. Did you put your hand on her to help her get out the car at all? I mean, I mean, I don't barely remember most of this day. If, if I if I helped her out, it wasn't it wasn't you know nothing like that. Okay. okay. Fair enough, John. So if I, if I'm a pretty strong person, but I, but I, right. but I'm not gonna yank my girlfriend out of the car. Okay, but why do you think that taxi driver would say that? He got paid, so what is it? Why would he do that? Uh, it wasn't very nice to him. So you think he know. just arbitrarily? I don't, I don't think he arbitrarily he'd call in and just for the heck of it. I think he he. I think he perceived that I was angry that I, I mean I didn't. Evidence kind of shows that, man. I was angry. Yeah, I was not. I was not a. A happy camper, but I did not assault anybody, and I don't know what else I can say about that situation because you know it's not the cap thing, but the other stuff you're asking about because I don't want to want to talk about that, and you know because it incriminates you. Is that why? Is that why you wouldn't I, want to talk about? It? I just don't because you could I just, just kind of want to. Yeah, <laughs> okay. I, I, and I, 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 I get you. you you're, not, you're not a dumbass, and I get that. So I can tell, but you're trying to be very cautious on what you're saying, and you're kind of prolonging the inevitable. The evidence shows what it shows. Um, you know, I mean, that's so you, you can't. The deal is, is what happens, especially when you and I are in the same career field. So we understand how this goes, and, and when you're thinking clearly, when you're sitting on this side, of the, you're listening to that side of the table, and you're thinking, does that guy really believe what he's saying, or does that guy? I, I'm not trying to convince you of anything. I'm, I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm not going to talk about the stuff that I don't want to talk about. I'll tell you the stuff that that I can speak to without. You know, I didn't do anything over here on this side, but the stuff that you say incriminates me. I, you know, I'd rather, I'd rather if it, if it does or doesn't, I don't want to talk about that. I'll talk about the stuff that I can. 
It is difficult to believe that John has ever worked in law enforcement, judging from what he is saying. There is no situation where you can tell the police what you will and will not talk about in an interview. And saying that you refuse to talk about things that will implicate you only makes you look guilty. And, you know, I've been told you're, you're you know, well, they didn't tell me I'm under arrest, but they, I'm being told now that, you know, you're under arrest for assault. I did not sleep well, yeah. and I did not hit anybody or threaten anybody. Or but now, 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 put yourself in this chair. I heard, I heard, listen to me. Put yourself in this chair. You have an independent witness that has nothing to gain by not being truthful. Nothing. From the cabbie who's saying that you physically and forcefully removed her from that car. You see what I'm saying? Now, what should we do? What would you do in our position? Would you say, you know what, I'm going to put my job on the line for this guy? Or would you say, uh, no, I think I'm probably doing my job? I, I don't think you guys won't do your job. I think you'll do your job. But, you know, that was like 12 o'clock. You know, if he's saying, hey, so we're going to wait. I mean, he's going he's gonna to basically, four hours later, five hours later. I don't know what, what the time it was. I mean, that's it was around 1230 or 1 o'clock prior to that that we were, I'm not sure he could find out. But think about this, though. And Think and about so, this. You guys left the front door wide open. I forgot. I, and I, like you said, the, the cell phones are sitting out. So that kind of leads I us. I forgot my cell phone. She yeah, forgot her. sure. We I get it. But that would kind of lead us to believe that these guys left post haste, like lickety split. We had to get out of here right now, which kind of amps everything up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I understand. Okay. And I'm, right. and I'm, and I'm, that's what, that's the part that I know you guys were right. Very One o'clock, the police were on en route at, um, to that residence. So if it happened 12, 3, quarter, 1, whatever. I'm telling you the truth. I, 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 I was at home. I got called at two o'clock, and I'm the detective <coughs> the search warrant. So that's the only reason I'm here. So that just happened to be the on-call guy. Uh, so one o'clock, that the officers respond. Right? They find so what the officer says. Twelve thirty or there was that there was roughly. So they find burning clothes in the back. They find the front door wide open. They find two cell phones there because two phones of stuff are there. So nobody tracks a cell phone. Right, because you're a policeman, you're not a dumbass. Right, you were you were a cop at one time. You're not stupid. So two phones are left there. We have uh, the fact that somebody was reportedly, I'm not saying factually, reportedly removed forcibly from a taxi cab. So as due diligence on our part, they they check us around the house. They try to make multiple calls to have you come out. Of course, you're not there already because you fled. You fled within 30 minutes, or if you say it's a 12:30, or probably less time, probably a quarter to tell. You 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 fled. We went to you fled. Coffee. You didn't take time to get dressed. You left. Search warrant of the house. There's a there's poop in the toilet. So somebody didn't flush. They was leaving in a hurry. They came. So I, I don't know I, why I, that I, would I be. But, well, maybe your dad then left a pile of poo in the toilet. But somebody left in a hurry. There was a, this huge issue. There's a fire in the back with female clothing and, and makeup and things like that. It's all burned up. So as a as a homicide I, detective, I understand that part. But I, I mean, I, 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 I see I see the whole. So we have a SWAT team surround that house. We make multiple calls. Uh, and into the house if you're in there. We don't know if she's hurt, you're hurt, you've killed yourself, you've killed her, she killed you, she killed herself. We don't really know what has happened at that point. So the totality of the whole situation. And then while we're there, while I was standing next to your father, you call him from a payphone, but you don't want to talk to me and you hang up on your dad. So your dad walks away, you call well, him. He, he, told me, he told me that you were nearby and you're 20 yeah. feet away. Uh, well, and initially, the very first phone call, we were this close. And then your father walked away and he said, yeah, I'm about 20 feet away. Okay. And then you didn't want to talk anymore. So well, these, these things, and at this point, as a law enforcement officer, we still hadn't talked to your girlfriend. I don't know if she's alive or dead. So you're, you're with me in my she, shoes, she, right? Yeah, she and I both were, were talking about that, and I didn't, I didn't know how to handle it because I thought, okay, well, if I can talk to him and, and find out, you know, is it is it safe to go over there and meet somebody, or am I going to get proned out? <laughs> well, when you were in our shoes, what would you do? You, of course, you would prone them out. Of course, you would put handcuffs yeah. on them. Of course, you would do that because you don't know the circumstances of what's happening. And then now you're sitting here, John, talking to us, and I appreciate it. However, you're, these are you're picking and choosing, and you're asking more questions than you're answering. And that's I understand that. And I got all day in the world, buddy. I'll spend as much time, and I'll answer every question that you have for us. My partner's the same way. But the, the the bottom line is, at this point, with the totality of everything here, your best interest is to tell 
at all. So we can either figure out if there's uh, we have facts in our case or we don't and we don't charge the I just, guy I wrong. Just, I just don't want to talk about the things that... Detective Jordan isn't being accurate. It is not in John's best interest to tell them everything. He would be best served by getting a lawyer and saying nothing because he's just damaging himself. The only ones benefiting from him continuing to talk are the police. If they can make a person build a case against himself, their job is halfway done. That, that, that are, like you said, those things speak for themselves. The incriminating parts. You don't want to talk about those. I mean, and that's okay if that's what you choose I mean, to do. I, I, I mean, I'm being told that you're arrested for assault. Yeah, I, I stepped on the, uh, the bolt when I got out of the car. Uh, back to the shoulder. Um, I, I, know, I know how it looks as far as you guys get an argument, this happens, that happens, you guys leave quickly. But the first place we went, we went and got coffee. Mm -hmm. That's the honest truth. I got a, a Dopio Espresso and she got, we went to the Lakewood, the, the sit right there by the, the uh, what do you call it? The, yep, the city up there, the town center. I mean, you can go look at the video of us driving through. I'm not, you know, yelling at her. I'm not, not saying, I'm not saying you didn't do that, sir. I'm not saying that about my partner's not saying that. I, just I got an argument with her. She, she because she cheated angry. on you. Yes. And then, then that upset you, and rightfully so. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go and beat her up, uh, you know. I removed guns from your house, man. I, how do I know that you're not gonna do that? I, I, I told your father, I had never had the pleasure to meet you until today. And under these circumstances, it's it's a little different, a little strained. I, I get that, man. But on a, a good day when you hadn't been drinking and, and you didn't have all this problem going on, you might be a hell of a guy. Hell, we might even be friends. But the the fact is, right now, I'm, I'm, I'm actually a decent person. But no, I, I don't I, disagree I made, with I, you. I've made. I'm I'm not going to say that I've made great choices. But what I'm saying is, I didn't. I didn't hit her. I didn't threaten to hurt her. Well, you understand what domestic assault is, right? Yes. You remember from the academy. Yeah. I but mean, I didn't, you know, wrench her out of the car. And well, give us the details of that. I, How did you? I may have helped her out. Like, it wasn't, it wasn't like, just get out of the car. Okay, pause for a second. Okay. You got to do any favors to yourself if you say, I don't remember how I did it. No, because I just, here's the thing. I'm not saying I don't, I'm not just saying. Tell, just I tell did. me how it happened. I don't. Just tell me how it happened. If you didn't force me to remove her out of the car, I, just tell me how you got her to get out of the car. You were angry, and maybe you didn't freaking grab her and chuck her out of the car. Okay, I, I didn't rip her out of the car okay. or grab her or anything okay. like that. Okay. If, I, if, I, if she started to get out and I helped her up, but I didn't go in there and grab her, I don't, I don't remember. I don't remember if I, even if I helped her up. Do you remember, is that because That's, you've been drinking? I drank last night. I haven't drank since... 10 o'clock or something, 11 o'clock. You must have drank a shitload because I'm getting kind of high sitting right here, man. I haven't drank, you know, I, mean, I slept most of the day and got up around 12. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, yeah, I, I don't I don't remember. Did you guys spend the, spend the night together, you yeah. and your girlfriend? Okay. She, we, we sleep together every night. Okay. So the issue was she was leaving. Did you know she was leaving? Did she Did tell she, you she was going to get her car? She, I was mad because... Instead of waiting till three, like we norm we normally have coffee together and talk and stuff, and I was like, you know, I just I don't even I don't even know what what it's a stupid argument. Mm -hmm. The whole the whole thing. I mean, it's not stupid. But yeah, it's what, relationship that we're talking about. You know, but I, but I forgave her already for it. I wasn't I wasn't at that point. I wasn't gonna hurt her or anything. It, you know. Okay, so stop. And why were you so angry when you went out to the cab? I don't know. If, if like, let me tell you, like I tell my fifteen-year-old, if you were seven or five years old, that answer would be perfect. I, I mean, I mean, the, the logical answer is, I was angry because I felt like she was disrespecting me. But I, I don't. Okay. There, there's hey, no. The light goes on because that makes sense. She was being disrespectful. That makes sense to me. But but I but I also know that it's not for me. Or, you know, like, you want to take a cab versus spend time with me and, you know, and talk this out. But I didn't, I didn't hit her. 
Okay. And I didn't grab her up. Okay. Okay. And but if you don't believe me, that's I don't know. I here's the thing. I I want to believe you, but you keep leaving out that portion. It's just like watching a movie. You're watching Star Wars, Which, and you don't get to hear the part where where Darth Vader tells Luke he's a father. The rest of the movie ain't gonna make sense to you. You see what I'm saying? We're talking about one specific. That's a really girl. good analogy. Thank you. There are there are holes there are holes in my yeah. my, my memory right now though because I'm 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 tired I've been up you know I didn't sleep well last night. Another interrogation tactic is to question someone when they are tired or sleep deprived. In this state, not only are verbal inhibitions lowered, but most people will say anything to get out of there to get some rest. Okay. Because you guys were talking about this from last night as well. Yeah. Okay. So you guys to talk about this for a minute then. But we were we were cool about it. I mean, that's why I'm just like, I wasn't gonna do anything to her. Okay. But it, it, it that's why we had so many people, and you understand is the the way the house was left, the burning clothes, the cabbie saying this this that and the third about what happened. After that, when we get there, it's like, oh shoot, this thing is really bad, I, kind of thing. I, I, we're I, to the point where we called detectives and the supervisor and assistant chief and the SWAT team and all that other stuff there. Okay. You understand that? I do. Okay. You, you want to tell us anything else about this incident, man? A, I would wish it would be very detailed on how she got I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to like, a, like a, I've been trying to say. I, I'm not. You can put me on a lie detector, whatever you want to do right now. Like a, I'm not lying, and, I, and I, I don't remember doing any kind of grabbing of her. Nothing like that. What'd you tell the cabbie? I, I cursed him out. I was like, "Take your," because he was like, "Oh, you have to pay me," and I was like, "Well, here's your effing money," and I'm like, "What?" I'm, you don't think we're gonna pay you? Like, you know, I'm not a scumbag. Like, so, okay. she paid him and twenty-five bucks. Yeah, yeah. Right. I believe it was twenty-five. He said it was fifteen, and she gave him ten dollars. Uh, ten dollars. You don't want to tell me anything about the, the burning, or the clothes, because I'm gonna tell you what it looks like when we write this up. Okay. It looks like I'll tell you. I'll, I, I'll selectively forget about this portion. I remember this. I know this. I'm not going to tell you shit about that. And yeah, because I was really tired. That's what it, I no, mean, I'm not saying it because of that. What you want me to say is you want me to incriminate myself. Just looking for the truth, man. I I'm just like I give I'm, you the truth. I, I, I'm not going to lie to you, though. So if I say I don't want to talk about it, omission that, is a lie. I'm not omitting that. I'm not omitting anything. I'm just saying I don't want to talk about anything. That's omission. You're omitting that portion of the story because you don't want it to look bad. Dude, if you got pissed off and you burn your fucking shit up because you're just mad. Again, I can understand being mad. She cheated on you, whatever, disrespected you. That's horrible. I, I get that. I understand that. But those things, when you're, you okay. remember when you take somebody the uh, <coughs> the case, somebody's case to the prosecutor and go, look at this, and they read it and they go, but he didn't. What do you say about this? We're going to talk about that. What do you think the prosecutor is going to do, man? I don't know. I don't know. Well, you do know because you've been a cop. If you weren't a cop, I could say, well, I can tell you what the prosecutor is going to do. But he's going to think that, uh, and and it maybe it's been a while since you've been in trial. I don't know, but I can tell you that the prosecutor's going to look at this and say he's lying. And you may not be lying, John. And that's the damnest thing is, is you're you're telling us bits and pieces, and that's great. And I believe those bits and pieces. But when you leave portions out, when you omit portions of the story, it makes it a lie. And a portion of a lie is still a whole lot. I'm a not, portion of I'm the truth. Choosing to leave any like selectively omit things or like oh hide stuff from you guys. I'm just not. Like like my girlfriend said, I'd rather not talk about that. Okay. I, I I just I I know I know, you know I know that. You guys want me to remember every little thing, and I I'm tired. I I'm still dried out. I I'm hot. You take a jacket off. You like it's seven uh, forty six. You said you got up at noon, so you've been up for seven hours and forty six minutes, and you're tired. And you said earlier that you I'm slept tired because I haven't eaten much today. I had a we shared one of those. Hammocks. You're still in your pajamas. I got you, man. I hear that, man. I hear you. <coughs> We're just trying to help it to understand it all and help you out and make sure that we can tell the totality of the circumstances. We want to make sure we tell the whole truth. Because when the prosecutor reads this, they're going to wonder why they spent thousands and thousands of dollars bringing a SWAT team out there. So they're really going to be looking at this. Because it's, you know, every guy that comes out there, it's overtime, it's it's multiple guys. Because it isn't like five or six guys on a SWAT team. They bring 30 or 40, it seems like. You know, I don't know if it's that many, but it's a lot. 
And you know what I mean? I, I just want to make sure that we have all the answers there for you, John, because I want to be able to say to the prosecutor, look, this is where it's at. This is what she said. This is what the taxi guy said. This is what John said. And let them make a, an honest decision on what they do from that point on. But when you don't give all the information, then they're going to think everything's a lie and not going to believe the truth. Detective Jordan keeps pressing John to stop skirting the questions, but John stubbornly refuses to talk about certain subjects. He's coming across as volatile, dishonest, and uncooperative. But the, you know, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, but I don't want to, I'm not going to, I'm not, like you, you told me earlier, you said the best one here is this last one. If you don't want to talk about that, you don't have to. That's right. And I, I'm, you know, I'm, you just absolutely. Telling, and I'm just no, telling you. No, I'm going to read to you again. No. This is a good one. I like this. You may stop answering questions and ask for an attorney anytime during a question or, or making any statements. That is my favorite one out of the, uh, out of our advisement rights. That's the one I like the best because I can be truthful and I can tell everything. And if I don't want to talk, I can stop at any time. Just because I'm, you started. I'm going gonna, gonna to be truthful about everything, but I, but I don't want to, you know, tell the truth. say something. No, I don't want to say something. I'm not going to lie to you, though. If I, I, I'd, re I'd rather just not say something than lie. And I have I have been honest with you guys. The and when you get home, get out the Webster dictionary and look up omission. Okay. okay. Uh, you guys, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't, I'm not trying to be difficult. I'm not trying to be. Hey, buddy, I just want to help you. I just everybody sits back there. I don't care what they've done from from one thing to another. And I know that. Uh, my partner here, Detective Henson, is the same way. We want just to get as much truth out there because we're not. Look, there, this is what I tell what you call a scumbag. I'm not telling you this. At one point in life, I went this way and they went that way, right? I made this decision, they made that decision. I'm not a, any different of a man than you are. We both put our bridges on probably pretty close to the same way, right? Right? So we're just men. So it comes. I'm just staying my way. I know. <laughs> I don't wear a rope, but okay. It was. Anyway. But the, the deal is is that somewhere in life we make good, uh, you make a good decision, sometimes we make bad decisions. But I made a bad decision. Day. You made some bad decisions, I get that. Not a good day. But we don't judge you because of today's decisions. What we do is judge you of your accountability of those decisions. I, I, I admit my wrongs. I'm, I <coughs> Listen to what you just said. I admit my wrongs. I just don't want to talk admit about that. certain things. Right. Well, now, does that make sense, John? Oh, listen to what you're saying. Regardless, man, if you want to stop talking, we're good. But listen to what you just said. I admit my wrongs, but I'm not going to tell you about that. So how, you're not admitting I'm, sure. I'm, 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 I'm telling you, like you just said, did, 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 what did you say to the guy? But I, you know, I'm cursed him out. And that's the truth. I didn't rip her out of the car. I didn't threaten anybody. I didn't hit anybody. This, you know. Why on earth would he call us and tell us that, though? I was a jerk. I mean, I didn't call and say, you know what? He cussed me out too much. No, he I gave mean, me my money. I was a jerk. I was a, I was an, I was a jerk, and I, and I was. Did you identify yourself as a police officer? No, 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 not at all. No. And how would he tell us that you were a policeman? I don't know. I did. I didn't say that. How at would all. he say she doesn't have the right to go? I'm a cop. Get out of here. What? I didn't say that at all. Well, how would he know that you were a former law enforcement officer? I have no idea. Come on, guys. You think we're lying to you, though? No, but oh, okay, okay. Here's the thing: we have no reason to lie to you. All the questions we want to answer about the fire, about I listen, I listen, listen, listen. Okay. All the questions we want to get answered about the fire, about the taxi cab, about the things that you said to this guy. That's why I asked you several times. What did you say to this guy? Right? Yeah, but I, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. You tell me you whoop his ass or anything like that. No. Now, I don't, I don't know that part, but I do know the part. That was said to, to the police officers was, you said, she doesn't have the right to leave. I'm a police officer. You get your ass out of here. No, I did not say that. Okay. All right. I did not say that. Are you serious? That's serious. He said that. Wow. <coughs> Again, remember, I wasn't there at the investigation part. These are the parts that we received. That's we get there. You know how it works. I'll, I'll go on a pol polygraph. I did not say that. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm being, I'm being completely honest. I got up around 12 the same time this guy was over there. Yep, that's what he said. That's what he said. He said. Yep, that's what he said. He said, man. And um, like I said, I, I don't. 
Don't make it down to me either way. I don't know you, don't know your girlfriend. I feel really uh, embarrassed for your parents. Yeah. Absolutely do. Oh. You, your father was a general, right? Yeah. Um, I, I don't know if he was a good guy or not, but uh, yeah. seemed to be real nice. Well, here, I'll just say this, and then I think we're going to probably end this up, John. A couple things. When you are adamant about something, I believe you. Yeah. When you say, oh, I don't remember if I heard, I don't know. That's what I don't believe you. But the other thing, too, is when you say, I don't want to talk about that because I'm it's going to get myself into trouble, I do believe that. So there's two parts that I believe. Well, I didn't part. say I'll get you in trouble. I just said I don't want to talk about it. Well, you incriminate yourself. I mean, get you in trouble. Well, I didn't say incriminate, but... I, I did say, I, okay. come on Don't play me stupid, man. But I, I, we're done. I, I can't do this. I'm not going to say it. I will try to be respectful as we can. But you, you go, I, I didn't say that. You are, dude, we're not stupid either, right? We've been doing this job a long time. I want to treat you with most respect as I can, man. I absolutely do. I want to be decent to you. I really do. But you're not helping yourself. And you're I not don't know what else to say, though. I mean, I, I, well, hear this, I, did, I didn't say that to him. You didn't say you want to incriminate yourself? No. Just tell about that. the cough thing? Yeah. Okay. Well, this thing. Maybe, maybe my girlfriend said something before when she called him. I don't know. Okay. I don't know what was said. I don't. I don't know. And. I, I, okay. But did you hear what I said though? What's that? There's certain things that you we ask you questions about that you answer. Bam. And there's some things that you kind of oh I'm gonna go I'm gonna go all the way around the corner to get across the street. And then there's certain things you say I don't want to talk about that. Like the clothes. We all know that you burnt her clothes. I don't know how many, it could have been two pair of panties and a bra. It could have been all of her clothes. I know, by the way she answered and the way you answered, that you burnt her clothes. Period. In the story, there's no two ways about it. And I'm not really too worried about that. You know the part that I'm mainly there, worried about? stuff I bought her for Christmas. Okay. So you burnt that? Yes or no? Did you burn her clothes? Did I'd, you bought for Christmas? I'd rather have an attorney. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. What time is time? Time, time, time right now is 7.53. 1953 hours. All right. We're going to end this statement here, 1953 hours. Everyone involved in this interview is on edge, and the detectives decide to end this session since it isn't being productive. John will most likely be brought back for more questioning, although if his girlfriend decides not to press charges, it's possible he won't have to serve time in jail.